that's pretty much all there is to say. G'day guys, welcome back to the channel and for season 24, war number 8, today we're up against Resolute Kings who uh, were a plat 2 alliance last season, so we were going in we were going in favourites this war. Going for a bit of a different team uh, this war, it's actually the first war we're not bringing Red Hulk for the season. Um, we're going with Immortal Abomination, uh, as well as Warlock and our 5 star Doctor Doom. And the reason I brought the 5 star was uh, later I expected to take a um, an Arcus, but we ended up not taking him, so we actually could have used a 6 star here. So the first fight we got is in on path 3, we've got a Hyperion. He's got Mystic Ward, so uh, our Direct Nullifiers won't... Uh, be very effective and you can see with suicides on we're actually we're actually triggering protect on our heavy attacks so this is probably the last fight you'll ever see me ever use doom with suicides in war again just because or at least in protect because just because of how hard he's hitting on his heavies and i just had to make a little jump cut there because we've got a notification which um yeah hot tip Turn on Do Not Disturb if you're doing war fights. It makes it a lot easier and less stressful. So, um, because we were using suicides for this fight, I wanted to limit the amount of special ones and special twos we were doing. Um, I, the plan was to turn suicides off later and just chuck a potion into him, because that's all I think I thought we'd need. So you can see we're even triggering protect on our mediums while we have that one uh, special free fury so it just means we have to intercept him a bit but that's no big deal it just makes the fight a bit longer so we're going to get the special three for the second time get the double fury luckily we haven't crit too much so we're not triggering protect and we're just gonna hit him with a special two that's gonna get him for three protect charges, which means the incinerates aren't doing that much. So we're gonna have to get an intercept here, and we luckily do with a nice light intercept there. And he goes down. So pretty simple fight for Doom. Made a bit longer with protect. Now next up we have a Luke Cage. Uh, no idea why this guy is placed here at all. He's not a good defender at, at all. But it turns out I learned in this fight he's actually good for Immortal Abomination um, since Luke Cage actually increases attack per debuff on the opponent and if you know I-Bomb you know he gains lots of debuffs on him through his um, self poisons and right there we just ate a combo like a champ and unfortunately that actually put me off using I-Bomb for a fight later in section 3 I was originally going to use I-Bomb, but since we'd have to chuck a bunch of potions in now, I thought it'd be better just to use Warlock since, it, since it's a man thing in Section 3. But that would be later on. Uh, as for this fight, where you can see we're even triggering our Acid Burn before getting to a special... before triggering our Toxic Aura, which um, can happen sometimes if you're playing... if you get lucky on your poisons. So we're just going to hit him with a special 3, uh, it's not going to do that much damage but it's really so we can dump all that power and get back to the special 2. Although the Toxic Core is doing a decent amount of damage. He gets his Indestructible back. And we're pretty much just going to uh, get to a special 2 just to... Uh, get that aura as well as get rid of some of our debuffs because you know it's increasing his attack. And unfortunately he was running despair as well so our poisons aren't, he aren't healing us for as much as they normally would. Before we were only healing for about 12 per tick I think but eventually, eventually he goes down. And now we have a really cool fight. It's, um, it's actually the first time I've fought Actually, no, I lie. It's the second time I've fought a rank 3 apocalypse in war. The first time was uh, last season during Stubborn, the Stubborn meta. And uh, it was in section 3 and I used a guillotine 2099. But this time we'll be using Warlock. 
and this is a rank 3 apocalypse placed on the Mixmaster node which is uh, not the best placement but not the worst I mean these days you don't really see there's not really that many good defenders to place here just because there's so many like counters that easily take these guys down as far as the dexing go on the special one, I'm basically going to dex the first hit, block the second hit, and then dex out of the last hit. I can do the full dex of the special one, but not 100% of the time, so I don't want to risk it in a war just yet. Again, it's dexing the first hit, blocking the second hit, and then dexing out of the last hit. And we really need to stay on top of uh, our hits here. We don't want to... Um, uh, be too passive because that's going to build up his, his prowess which is going to mean more block damage on the special one. So I think we yeah, yeah two is, is the base and then ev ev all the additional prowess is from the aggression prowess mode. You see we are triggering um, protect on our medium but an easy heavy is going to get rid of those since warlocks excel. But here, I was just going to keep hitting him since he got up to 9 power stacks, I think, at that point. So we had to get rid of those. Like we got a nice perfect block there. You can see we're really in control of this fight now. We've only lost about 20% health. He's down to about 25% health. We got another nice perfect block there. So things are going all according to plan. Sticking to our light, medium, light, medium combos to get the most out of Mixed Master. One more special two almost gets him down, but a couple more, couple more taps and he goes down. So yeah, really, really clean fight for Warlock. I was really impressed with him. Uh, we actually take five fights within this war. But for our score update, after section one, we've died five times, which is not great. We can do better. Um, and they've died three times out of 33 fights, so we really needed to consolidate our lead in Section 2 since a second loss in a row is really not what we need right now. Uh, we, need a, we need to get back in Platinum 1 uh, because we've been in Platinum 1 for the last five seasons, I think, so we don't want to ruin that. But anyway, the first fight Section 2 we have is a um, bread and butter fight for Warlock. It's uh, Shitness Thorns uh, Colossus. We didn't actually boost for this fight because I was I didn't want to trigger protect that much, and I thought with boost we would be triggering protect uh, too much. It would be a bit annoying. So yeah, he's going down really easily. I don't know what we're doing here. We're just <laughs> messing around a bit, but he goes down just like that. I think we might have actually gained some health back actually from that fight through the special three heal. And then next up we have an Emma Frost uh, on explosive personality. Uh, another really, really simple warlock fight. We pretty much use big baiting heavy while she's in her ice form, her diamond form, my apologies. Uh, and then hitting over the special two to armor break her. Uh, into telepath form. Unfortunately, I didn't check before to see whether she was awakened or not, so I did the reverse dex. Since you know, I'm I'm used to that. Since uh, I just assume Emma's awakened, but that's obviously a big mistake. Unfort uh, unfortunately for us, it, it didn't crit though, so you know, it didn't do too much damage, and she didn't have any prowess or anything. But yeah, she's going down really, really easily here. She's not XL or, or large, so she's not going uh, uh, be a protect champ. Get the text that time, and then one more special two do the trick. So yeah. Easy fight for Warlock. And then this, this um, node there, that, that's where the Arcus would have been. But anyway, uh, the Section 2 score update, we did uh, get a hold of the deaths quite nicely. We only gave up 
uh, two in our last 40 odd fights and they coughed up five more deaths I think in their last 20 fights so we're really on top of this point uh, yeah we were definitely um, definitely on top of this point so we're just looking to consolidate the win now in section three uh, so we've got two uh, the last two fights are both going to be warlock fights uh, the first one being a man thing on the vigorous assault mini boss this would have been the fight that i would have used uh immortal abomination for and he would have been uh he would have done it a lot faster not as i think actually I'm, i think a red hulk our red hulk would have done it faster but immortal abomination wouldn't have been far behind um but it is a really simple fight for warlock and fortunately he was running willpower so that just makes it even easier I don't think he had any Mystic Dispersion. No, he didn't. Uh, so we're pretty much going uh, to stick to the special threes this fight since uh, last time I checked, main thing was I'm going to break immune. Uh, and the special three is also going to uh, heal us up a bit. As you can see, we started the fight on around 87% health. And uh, each special three is going to get us up by about five or six percent, I think, which is which is nice. So yeah, his his power is going just draining constantly, which is really nice. Just another thing we don't have to worry about him throwing special attacks. Right there, he goes below fifty percent. He throws his first special attack. Uh, that activates his regen, so he's unblockable, so we're just going to wait that out. Now we can safely parry again. And obviously since he was infected, he didn't actually regen at all. So at the moment we're just going to build, be building up to another special 3. I think we're going to try and bait up one more special attack, yep, and we're going to punish that since we weren't too far away. I think this gets us up to about 96 or 97 percent. Mm. Yeah, 97. He's still unblockable from that previous special attack, but he's got no power. So only a few more combos are going to finish him off here. You see, we're not hitting very hard in our basics, but. He does well, and this fight is basically a free potion for Warlock. You can see we healed up like 12% that fight. Uh, so our last fight is our 8th Hazard Shift fight for the season. And it's the first time we're fighting a Havoc here. Um, and this, So this fight was the main reason I brought Warlock to this war. Um, and then the Apocalypse I got assigned after deciding to bring Warlock for this fight. So the game plan here is while uh, the Hazard Shift is in its incinerate phase, we're not going to hit, we're just going to parry and re-parry, bait out heavies, and then when he's in poison phase, just hit him as much as we can, stay super aggressive. We probably shouldn't have thrown that special one there, I don't know why I did. Um, we're going to stick to special threes this fight. Um, for a couple reasons, mainly to create distance though, since while he's in incinerate phase, we are getting backed up against the wall a bit. Uh, since in that first poison phase I wasn't really aggressive enough in, in um, gaining space and territory. Luckily Havoc isn't larger or XL, so he's not going to be triggering... Um, uh, we're not going to be triggering Protect on our basic hits. He's being a bit stubborn here, but I think we get a special two out of him. Which is nice. I am a bit uh, loose there because I threw a couple hits while he was incinerate, but luckily that didn't incinerate us. But now we're in poison, so we can hit him as freely as we want. Back to another special two. Just bait out a couple more heavy attacks. And, it's, and you can see um, he's... Oh, we missed a parry there. 
But you can see he's um uh, every parry uh, that Warlock makes against a non-contact attack, uh, it power drains them, which is really nice since um, Havoc's first medium is non-contact. He's getting power drained every time we, we um, perform a parry there, which is just another bonus that Warlock has against Havoc. So yeah, fight is pretty much in the bag now. We only need a couple more combos. He's, he's in the incinerate phase at the moment, so we're just going to be waiting this out. And then now he's in poison, so we can go full ham. I think one special two is what we go for to finish him off, maybe. Never mind, just one more combo did the trick. But yeah. That was that was our war. That was, those are our seven fights, and we ended up winning this war pretty comfortably in the end. Now you would have seen we pretty much extended our lead uh, as the war went on. Ends up winning by twenty six deaths, which is nice. It actually um, got us back into platinum one, which is where we want to be. Well, not completely where we want to be. We want to be obviously back in tier one. Surprising we got MVP, which we only took seven fights. So I was really surprised we got MVP. And we also got one kill from our um, uh, rank three, Punisher 2099. But yeah, we had a pretty solid war. Um, still only one death for the season. So hopefully we don't die anymore. But yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next war vid.